Hi guys, hope everyone is doing wonderful again today. Um, this is the uh, guess the price to mega mega tool haul from the Netherlands uh, two, which is super cool. And um, this is the um, the stuff from Alex, who um, has a, an Instagram page which will be linked below. Go check him out if you haven't already. Um, you will see some really cool stuff. I did send him some stuff from the UK, so you can go over and see what he got there. Um, Alex, once again, thank you very much. Um, I can't even believe what I'm looking at on this 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 thing. I'm, I'm over the moon, mate. So thank you so, 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 so much. Um, um, we had some really, 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 really cool items. Um, absolutely fantastic. Stuff I've never seen before. Um, and yeah, there's some absolutely cool stuff on this table and I'm going to go through it. So... Um, First things are first, every, somebody you, some of you who have watched my channel before will know I really, really, really trying to collect these York Vices. Um, I'll show you a picture of my collection. But I've really, really struggled to find the largest size, which is the 150, and the smallest size, which is the 60. The 60s are very collectible. They're like the uh, Wilton Baby Bullet. They go for way, way more money than the bigger ones because they're kind of easy to store. They're super cute. Um, super cute. Super nice. This one's super clean. Original. It's even got part of the sticker on it. Handles straight as a die. Absolutely delightful vice. Um, absolutely wonderful. You can see why I like them so much. You can see there, made in Czechoslovakia. This is the original Wilton Bullet Vice. Um, and and then he, when, when I was talking to Alex and I was saying to him, I said, oh, I really want the Wilton. And I said, I'm really after a Wilton 60. He searched it, he said, there's two for sale. I went, no, can't be. He said, yeah. So this is gonna be the guess. Which one do you think cost the most? We've got this one or this one. So I'll show you the second one. Um, this one is uh, another of 50. This one's actually missing the cap. I didn't know that in the picture. I had no idea, but still, just wouldn't, I can still, I can get, maybe my friend Chris might make one for me for that. Um, super cool, um, super nice. Um, over the moon with a pair of them. Um, so you can guess which one costs the most. We've got two there. Now, I just can't believe I found 260, so I'm, I'm super happy. I mean, um, yeah, thank you again so much. Right, so the next thing is, is this this perfect handled hatchet. Now, I saw this, and it's, it's a kind of a multi-tool, and you know how much I love multi-tools. They're just fantastic. So this is a, a pre-Hitler, pre-World War II, um, perfect handle hatchet and it's obviously got a nail puller it's got a hammer it's got obviously got a screwdriver so it's a multi-tool and it's fabulous and this is a very very early uh, very very early um, um, a perfect handle tool and I think it's absolutely fabulous um, and I couldn't believe it when I saw it so we had that straight away and it's in great condition now I did buy a lot of four items these four which came with another one of these um, but in much worse for wear condition. You can see that it's all chipped up and broke. But um, I think possibly that could be welded back up again. And I think it'd be worth it. Because I just think this is a piece of history and I really like it. Um, it's got um, a bent a bent hand, a bent screwdriver, chipped up. Obviously a Neanderthal's had this. You know, a real buddy. But anyway, what can you do? Bubba, a real bubba. As... Um, Mr. Pete calls them. So yeah, so beautiful item though. Um, but what really intrigued me, if it was just this alone, I wouldn't have bought it because obviously I bought a better condition one. And I, I, you know, I don't regret it. I think it's wonderful. It did come with this little screwdriver, nothing special. And the, 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 the tip's pretty blunt on it. Nothing, nothing to write home about. But these two are absolutely unbelievable. Um, I don't know if you can read that there. It says ever ever scope so i can't read that anyway um some other name vandalins or something i don't know can't read it but this is a uh like a paint scraper it's got like an abrasive um blade a bit braid on it a bit blade um it's got another so it's got 
I just think it's super cool. I thought originally it was like a perfect handle screwdriver that had been cut and then someone had welded something on the end. But looking at it, it's it's perfectly it's perfectly um designed um for that purpose and it's it's absolutely wonderful. So this is a nineteen hundreds or so perfect handle scraper and not to be outdone, there was two of them. I mean I mean look at that with the grub screws and everything absolutely amazing and they'll go absolutely wonderfully with my perfect handle collection so those are a real a real um joy those are and i, I will definitely be cleaning those up and, and putting some um filler and trying to get them looking as nice as possible those are uber cool those are cool with a capital c so yet again I never knew that those even existed. I've I've seen I didn't know that existed neither the perfect handled hatch hatchet with 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 the screwdriver multi tool um absolutely cool. Then the next thing is and I think this is a super good idea. You get these big um pipe cutters. This is a backhoe. I'm going to paint it orange. This is a backhoe 2 inch um a, a 215 and I'm going to paint this orange and polish them up like I do a vice I'm going to polish all this up but this handle normally is made out of steel in England on the records and it's freezing cold you know when you're trying to cut pipe outside but this is like a beautiful emerald green um plastic so this is going to be way way nicer to hold in a colder colder climate and a lot nicer you know it's you know cause it doesn't sap the heat from your hand so I really like that that and i love the color as well so imagine that that's a sand that wet sand that to get it all shiny and then paint this all orange and polish this up and put that on the wall that's going to look stunning i know they have two two sizes of this so i'm going to ask my friend to keep an eye out for the other size so i'm hoping to get the other size in that picture of fingers crossed um but yeah so this is another absolutely amazing tool haul um um <laughs> to get two 60s when i was you know i i couldn't even dream of getting one i'm over the moon and to get to get the uh these perfect handle tools is amazing and this is unbelievable so <laughs> there's nothing left in holland online on their version of ebay there's nothing left i've bought the lot but every back or wrench they had every perfect handle tool and every york 60 so i'm doing well <laughs> i've stripped holland bare but it's made an interesting tool haul hopefully you've enjoyed it please 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 go check out alex's uh, instagram page below go check him out go say hello say thank you alex for your kindness buying all these tools with his own money um so i only had to do one transfer so it saved me on having to pay transfer fees he went above and beyond you know it was a lot of money this stuff you know we're in europe it's not cheap um, and he went and found all this stuff and he did it all on his own back and i can't thank alex enough what a stand-up guy um, hopefully one day he can come to the uk and i can show him around my markets and stuff when all this covid nonsense is over with but yeah fantastic thank you alex so yep yeah, um hope you enjoyed this part two there's going to be a part three now and then we're going to be done all right thanks for watching take care bye